What? All right, you did not need to say that. Murasami chan, can you please not talk about my cum first thing in the morning? Hey, what's up? I look like trash, I know. Hold on. Funny story. So, uh, well, today is Labor Day, the 4th. In, you're in the U.S. It's Labor Day. If you're not in the U.S., don't worry about it. But uh, Labor Day is today. Siri, shut up, dude! Nobody was talking to you. Jesus Christ! Excuse me, one sec. So, I pulled up on the what? The third? Yeah, I made it back in the U.S. on the third at midnight. I got home at around one or two a.m. Really fun. Really tiring. I went to Mexico. I had said in the community tab that I was going to take a trip. Now, you're wondering, hey, why do you look and sound like crap? I don't know so much if I sound like crap, but all I know is I was fine the day that I got there. And then I took a, you know, I went to sleep. I woke up. I felt fine, you know, and then on Labor Day, I just woke up and I was like, ah, allergies. And usually I get a runny nose when I get cold as heck during the night. So when I wake up, I'm like for like five hours and then it passes. But unfortunately, this time that didn't happen. The runny nose remained. I don't feel bad. I feel good. You know, I feel I'm chilling, but my nose and eyes say otherwise. So I was like, all right, you know what? I've rested quite a bit. And, you know, I could already hear some people being like, dude, should just not record. Nah, bro, I'm going to record. I feel fine. Like, I literally feel fine. Nothing hurts. You know, I just, I just have this stupid runny nose. Like if I have allergies or something, or I don't know, maybe it is allergies. I don't know what it is, but you know, I feel fine. And I was like, you know, I'm going to record a video today because, uh, I'm going to record a dang video. So unless I'm in pain, shut up Siri, I'm not going to you know, take a break. It's just a nose, a runny nose. And I apologize right now for the, and probably having to continually pause because yeah, stupid runny nose and, uh, yeah, it's not fun. But anyways. Mexico was fun. A lot of uh, a lot of junk eating. I ate like a pig. I ate a lot of bread. I ate a lot of tacos. I ate a lot of burritos. You know, a whole lot of tacos. You know, quesadillas, burritos, tacos. You know, uh, chilaquiles. Something that was really not fun about Mexico, though. Mosquitoes. I was fighting with the mosquitoes ever since I pulled up at Mexico. That's the one thing I don't miss. Those things are so persistent. I swear to God, on the day that we were going to return back to the U.S. and the airport, I, I probably killed like 10. You know, just the entire time swatting mosquitoes, like full on war with mosquitoes. It was not fun. Uh, unfortunately, they did manage to bite me near the yak. Yeah, it was bad. But uh, we're here now. Healthy, kind of, but safe <laughs> and at home. And also in the community tab, I had set when the, literally the day that I got home or the moment i got home i went on the community tab i was like all right guys daddy's home we're about to play a lot of games well when we're done with seven banca because we've been on this whole marathon as y'all know blah, blah 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 yeah yeah yeah. um after this we're gonna do resident evil the spider-man games blah 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 final fantasy all that jazz is gonna be really fun also the very first thing that i should have said and forgot to say and that i wanted to say was did y'all miss me i know it's been two weeks it kind of felt like it kind of has not but anyways i'm done talking i'm sorry um, I will make sure to have a timestamp there in the very beginning before I get it with all this rant and stuff. But anyways, I'm back. Daddy's here. Uh, maybe not the most healthiest right now, but it's okay. We'll be healthy eventually. Hopefully. Hopefully. Because, uh, getting sick's not fun. <clears throat> I, I kind of missed her. Kind of. Nah, I, I missed her. I missed you guys too. I missed all of you. Even the people that don't comment. But the people that do comment, I miss you even more. How you been? I'm glad. I hope you're doing well. And if you're not, I'm sorry. You will eventually. I hope. I think. Sorry. I had a hard time falling asleep last Wait. What's with those clothes? What's with these clothes? Oh, shoot. Punumura-sama-chan's dress. This is the sick episode. 
Nothing but Vaporub. You know, Vaporub is actually really good for dry lips, dry skin, uh, toe fungus. It's good for... What else is it good for? Oh, it's good at decongesting you. Decongestination. Decongestioning you. It's really, really good for that. I love it. I love it. I use Vaporub wherever I go. Every night. Mako found this for me. She said. When Osama chan does a little swirl, twirl, her smile is completely genuine. You can tell her cheery demeanor isn't feigned either. It's as though our conversation last night never happened. Still. Thinking about blowing your little back out. Yeah. Honestly, yes. Ah, crap. I was so lost and thought that I didn't even realize Murasami chan staring at me. Oh, uh. Oh, uh. This dress looks good. It suits you better, I'd say. I bury my misgivings. I need to focus on my conversation with Murasami chan. Sorry, what is revealing? The whiteboard in front of you? On you, I mean? Because, I mean, I don't see anything else revealing. What, your toes? I don't like your toes. Please don't shout that out to the world. Yeah, okay. I'm the. He's the perv. I am not. I'm perfectly normal. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, you did not need to say that. Murasami chan, can you please not talk about my cum first thing in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick, but the energy's still there. Did they not teach people about tact 500 years ago? <laughs> no, but she's right. She's definitely right. And usually after the first time, you'd be like dead or something, you know? Anyways, that's not how being tactful works. Also, that's not what I meant when I said I don't talk about cum. That's something any young man can do. Blushing in embarrassment, I nevertheless defend my honor. Yes, mommy. What is she saying? Follies? What is that? Murasama-chan grins at me. Where'd she get that quote from? I wouldn't call anything we did a mistake. Man, why the heck are we having this conversation? We're talking about cum. Care to join? Everyone shows up while I'm cleaning the shrine guns and talking about cum. Or rather, while I'm slacking off and messing around with Murasama-chan. Huh? You thought son narrowly avoids stepping in a landmine. Her finely honed ninja sense is at work, I'm sure. Morning, guys. Sorry for being so loud. Did we wake you up? Today's Sunday. There's no need for anyone to be up this early except maybe Yasuharu. Shut up. Huh? Is it already that late? Oh boy. I looked down on my wristwatch. It's 6.53. Crap, I didn't realize I've spent that long talking to Munusama chan. Whoa, I better finish sweeping. Shut up and help me. Now that Munusama chan's back in her real body, she's able to help. Oh, I was about to say. But her sweeping alongside me, the cleaning on the go by is twice as fast. <clears throat> Finally, do something, Yoshino Jesus Christ. And now it's going to be. Now it's going by four times as fast. Murasame chan, you don't need to use that much force when you sweep. Oh no. Not, a, not we. The four of us chat as we work. Don't cap. Is bro really complaining right now? Yasuharu-san smiles as he watches us. 
Nice. Once we're done cleaning, we go inside to eat breakfast. Halfway through the meal. Oh, Arichi-san, Murasame-sama. I forgot Oh, yeah. Your dad-san puts her chopsticks down and looks at us. <laughs> Shut up. Swallow before you talk, Murasame-chan. Pick off a grain of rice stuck to Murasame-chan's cheek. That sounds right. She really is like everyone's little sister. Mosama-chan swallows her food and asks her question again. Ah oh, man, I forgot about that. Oh yeah. I haven't been getting texts about the meetings these past few days. Guess everyone was just trying to be considerate. Mosama-chan, are you down to go? Nice. She nods. Almost? ということはまだどこか良くないのですか？ asked the question that's on my mind. ふむ、体自体は健康体なのだが、取り付いていて稀に魂が抜けそうになるのだ。たまに力を入れすぎると、ひょいと体から分離しそうになる。Masama-chan uh -huh. flexes her wrist experimentally. I wonder why. You're back in your old body and all. Yeah. Eh? Okay. Oh, so you just think you're better than us? That's what it sounds like. Oh, I'm kidding. It's a, it's a joke, obviously. Murasame-chan. I'm not truly human. Murasame-chan sounded unconcerned when she said that, but those words pierced my heart. <sighs> the dark san and Hidak san look concerned as well. They're probably thinking the same thing I am. Oh, <laughs> Smiling, Murasame-chan returns to her breakfast. But I, but my appetite's gone. Why? Ugh. Antaga, ah yeah, anataga, Murasame-sama nanska. The four of us have arrived at the meeting together. Koharu and Rentaro, who got here before us, seem surprised by Murasame-chan's appearance. Ikani mo, Koharu, Rentaro, yoroshiku tanomu. Some trying to hold her hand out. I guess she wants a handshake. Kohara shakes Murasame chan's hand, her own hand trembling. Kohara vigorously shakes her head. Murasame-chan turns to Rentaro. Rentaro, Murasame-chan holds her hand out to him. Rentaro scratches his cheek awkwardly. Why?なんでか我が輩のご主人は女子の友人ばかり作るのだ。ああ、そういやそうっすね。クラスには男もいっぱいおるであろうに。<laughs> we need a harem rule. Give it to us. Hey, watch it. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, is this how you treat your best friend? Where's the trust, Murasame? Oh. <sighs> Looks like my best friend and my girlfriend are now conspiring together. Guess they share a common interest. Namely, they're bonding over their mutual distrust of me. How did things come to this? Kentaro. 
Or maybe they aren't bonding after all. I shrug. Nenasan walks into the room with a tray of teacups. As she says that, Munasan Chan walks over to Lenasan. She then cheerfully hugs Lenasan. She was like an excited puppy. Alright. Yay, we're all touching each other. Oh, looks like she got a grasp of those biddies. Mutsumichan buries her face in Lenasan's voluminous chest. Lenasan moves the tray out of Mutsumichan's way and smiles gently. Sorry, but just indulge her for a bit. I guess she's happy she can. I guess she's happy she can finally talk to and touch everyone. It really does feel like I'm watching over the little sister I never had. <laughs> Did you really just say that out loud? If you tried something like that, you'd get arrested. Also, you're already in your real body. That sign and Tomotaki-san grab everyone's attention. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about the main point of this meeting was finding out a way to bring money back to the town. Mursama chan sits down next to me. Ah, oh, I cannot talk. I heard vasectomy. <laughs> Mursama chan sits down next to me. Kind of happy she picked the spot next to me by default. I hold back a doopy grin. Now then, what happened while Mursama chan and I were gone? Once everyone's seated, I asked for a status update. Mm -hmm. Koharu flips through her notebook. It seems she was acting secretary while I was gone. What kind of ideas? Koharu flips through a few more pages. Wait, hold up. What? What kind of crackpot idea is that? How the heck are we supposed to make that happen? Whoa, who came up with this stupid idea? Rentado stands up proudly. <laughs> so it was you. So. Maybe I should have stayed gone a little longer. <laughs> He's so stupid. He strikes a weird pose. This isn't a game. In retrospect, I'm glad he wasn't voted leader. The what? We don't have a god dang racetrack. Who came up with this one? You freaking I cradle my head in my hands. <laughs> what? Kuharu, just cross out all of Rantaro's ideas now. I cut Kuharu off. This is a waste of time. So, <laughs> Don't ask and he touched on Sai. There you have it. No, we definitely can. They're playing unrealistic. <laughs> Dang. The two siblings start quarreling again. They're hopeless. Murasama chan sips her tea and looks at the others. Kaharu, can I see your notebook? Hi, I asked Kaharu for a notebook once she and Rentaro stopped bickering. Flipping through, I see most of the ideas are things Murasama chan and I came up with when it was just the two of us. In other words, they're useless. We haven't really made any progress at all. And then you're left with Lena not that bright. Well, she's brighter than Rentaro, but Rentaro is definitely not the bright one. The Mataki son looks down apologetically. Oh, sorry. I'm not blaming you or anything. This is the best Murasama chan and I could do when we were trying to come up with ideas, too. 
So don't sweat it, Tomotaki-san. I know you're taking this seriously. Try to cheer Tomotaki-san up. Hey, 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 don't touch her. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Arichi-san. Oh, well, shut up. Huh? I didn't mean to. I know you've been trying your hardest too, Hitachi-san. Hurley console Hitachi-san as well. <laughs> nah, we could skip her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could definitely skip her too. Of course. I know you two are working super hard too. I smile like Kohara and Lena as well. Being the leader and encouraging everyone's tough. センタロウ。センタロウ。見ました。あとレンタロウ数。やはり、ご主人はちゃくちゃくとハーレム計画を。うん。まるで、え、一生年漫画の主人公のようじゃ。よ。He's いや、タイムとピギャ。人の体というのはいい言葉ばかりではないの。アンバスニーズ。ロモステルムのサムチャンジ、スペオレイトビットロンガー。ウィスカスタイディアズントゥルヌンエンストンデドアップエンティハン
Murasama-chan murders herself. What? Murasama-chan oh. Murasama murders softly to herself. When I hear her say that, it reflexively squares her hand tightly. Ah, yes. Squeezing. I think she did. レナ先輩、それもう死後ですから。くそ。俺だって今に見てろよ。あんてんさ。いらっしゃいませ。あ、マボ。Open so. 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 the cafe door and Rokani comes to greet us. Upon seeing it's me, she drops her business smile and assumes a more natural expression. Do you have room for a group? The seven of us, you know. Rokani vigorously shakes my right hand up and down with both of us. Uh, Rokani, aren't you overreacting? Up? I trail off as I look inside the shop. It's deserted. There's not a single customer. Sharp as always, Rokani pieces together with the chan's identity pretty quickly. Murasama-chan lowers her gaze. She fixes her eyes on the head of mine Rokani is holding. Rokani hurriedly lets go of my hand. No! <笑>さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。さい。
I drink a nasty teeth called teeth. <laughs> oh my god. What did they do to me, dude? I drank a nasty tea <laughs> called what, what do I call it? Dead of flu? Dead of flu. That thing tastes like I don't know. It tastes it has like an uh, unidentifiable unidentified taste. I don't know what it is, but it tastes like cheeks and uh I drank it and uh, it was it was nasty and it, not only has it made me a bit sleepy but that's probably what's messing me up it's the drink it's not me I swear So nandesuka? So nano da. Mattaku zenzen nani mo desu ka? Um kimochi ii kurai mattaku zenzen nani mo kimatte nai. Sure is. Look when he collapses under the table. Why are you so dramatic? Jeez. Stay with us. Get a hold of yourself, Rokuni. Murasami chan, you've got to be more tactful about these things. Rokuni's soul looks like it's about to leave her body. Rush to my feet and shake her shoulders. Facts. Nothing but facts out of this woman. Your little girl, whatever. Grandma. That's a great idea. Make her work too. Murasami-chan also gets up and pats the little on the shoulder. Yeah. Lokani looks up. There's a fire in her eyes. Looks like Muda Samachan's pep talk has worked. Lokani's back to her usual, reliable self. No way she just said that. Lokani, get a hold of yourself. It's the stupid. It's rubbing off on her. From Rantano. Never mind. Lokani's definitely still confused. She said something so stupid. Something as dumb as Rentaro. <sighs> <sighs> we continue discussing the <laughs> We continue discussing the topic of dessert. Everyone has come up with a few more ideas, but none of them seem very promising. I'm actually quite disturbed at how long this is taking him to. Interesting. There's a hint of exhaustion in Hidaichi-san's cheerful expression. Yeah, you should feel bad. Nanta was saying something unmirable for once. I guess this is our first time for everything. Holly,特殊な土地柄だからね。伝太郎くらいの年なら普通はこんなことは考えないよ。ここはよくも悪くも独立どっぽだから。このままホーリーの土地が錆びれるのは私も嫌です。頑張っていいイベント考えましょう。私が舞をもっとたくさんやるのはどうでしょう。Oops。舞を見に来てくださる外国の方は多いですし。That put too much of a burden on you. Though. That put too much of a burden on you, Tomatakusan. I don't think it's right to make her bear the responsibility of keeping Hori busting by herself. うん。それに見る機会が増えることにより、希少価値が薄れる危険もある。特策とは言えんの。私も吉野様にご無理は。それに、ご神道イベント同様、吉野様の舞も本来は観光客を集める we unanimously shoot down Tomotaki-san's idea. Tomotaki-san's shoulders drop. Drew, she's a smart girl. But even she's restored it. But even she's resorted to suggestions like these. I'm once again reminded how dire the situation is. There's practically no time left. I can't. Oh, it's already time for the debt. 
The booger's going away. Let's go. I'm not leaking anymore. That was awful. Yeah. Finally. I was getting so tired and my nose is so irritated. I put I threw some vapor rub on my nose and that shit just burns. Because my nose was irritated. The Dark Sun has hot Ah, the most dark sun has had it hard enough already. I don't want to make things any tough right now. <laughs> the dark sun bows her head. More vapor rub. See you guys later. The Dark Sun bows again before leaving the cafe with the Dutch Sun in tow. That's just how worried she is about Hoodie. あまり頼っちゃダメだね。そうね。それに日立さんもね。うま。今ここにいるものが中心で町おこしをするのが良かろう。私たちでいいイベントを考えてお客さんを呼び戻すのが一番ですよ。I've got to work even harder. I flipped through the notebook Koharu gave me. Should I at least come up with enough ideas to fill this thing? All right. I'll be All right. Back to the drawing board. Let's come up with an idea that's good enough to reassure the Motaxan. <coughs> Oi, scared me. Woke me up. Whoop, that was kind of loud. <laughs> hmm, maybe this would be best after all. But it just doesn't have enough impact. <laughs> yeah, I look up from my notebook to glance at Munusama chan walking into the room. Her hair's still damp, so she must have just gotten out of the bath. Yeah, that's a fair point. Think back to our meeting today. Uh-huh. Rokani... What the freak? Rokani was utterly dejected at the state of the deserted cafe. And even Double Talk Sound offered to push herself even harder for the sake of hoodie. Actually, I think I'll keep at it for a bit longer. I'm too anxious to sleep anyway. Yeah, Master, don't be so hasty. If that happens, you can just nurse me back to health. もちろんしてやる。だが、山に謎ならぬに越したことはない。今夜はもう休むのだ。Yes, mom. Wow. When Samachan hugs me from behind, and in the process, pins my arms in place. Oh, Samachan, I can't turn the pages. もう、ノートはしまえ。ほら、横になるのだ、ご主人。When well, Samachan yanks me back, pulling me away from my desk. I can feel her cute biddies, whiteboards, crest, whiteboard pressing against me. I know I call them hard before, but they're surprisingly soft. I don't know if that's because she's back in her real body now or if she's just grown since then. Yeah? When Cyberchan, you shouldn't speak so suggestively. Gah! I won't give it a temptation. Not gonna lie though, she almost got me with that one. Is it just me or are you getting even more aggressive? Our bodies become entangled as we struggle for control of the notebook. Neither of us is willing to give it an inch. Give an inch. When well, the Sabachan flips the light switch, I definitely can't read my notebook now. When well, Sabachan smiles innocently at me, good grief. When she puts it like that, I can't refuse. Alright, I give up. Resigned, I lay down. 
next to Morsame-chan. Lie, whatever. She snuggles up close to me. The warmth of her body is so relaxing. A wave of drowsiness washes over me. Morsame-chan hugs my arm, her voice growing fainter. Says you. Your consciousness begins to fade. But even as it does, I realize Munsama-chan speaking from the heart. Nice. Just just great. Very, very nice. This has become a routine. Koharu comes into our classroom during lunch. Sweet. We can start our lunchtime meeting now. Okay, Rentaro. Okay. Rentaro and I start rearranging desks. We make a makeshift table for six. Yeah, th yeah, there's a turn. Yeah, there's a turn to choose from. We get really under discussion while we eat lunch. At this point, we have our over. <sighs> At this point, we have over 200 ideas. Most of them are realistic, too. After that wake up call yesterday, we're all taking a seriously. Excuse me. However, all our ideas are kind of planned. Guess that was bound to happen once we started limiting our ideas to realistic ones. But we really need an idea that has some oomph to it. Problem is, it's hard to come up with something that's both realistic and impactful. What if they show them? They make like a thing where they show who Murasame Maru's caretaker is. Would that mean anything? Nah, probably not. そうですね。似たような we could increase the number of specialty foods unique to our region, but that one draw in many colors. The most tourist fuck. We could try designing a town mascot, but no one will care if we don't know the design. We need something specific to Hori that symbolizes its unique culture. Something similar to Tomotaki-san's dance. <laughs> oh boy. I feel drowsy, that tea. Woo! Like an edible, dude. I guess we don't have a choice. <laughs> the town leaders gave us the responsibility because they wanted us to gain experience. But I guess this is our only option now. The only way we can break out of the struggle is by getting outside opinions. All right, I'll go talk to grandpa after school. No point in delaying if that's what we decided to do. That thought will pass me on the shoulder. You don't want to come? Yeah. Nataro converts his gaze. That's not something to be proud of, man. My cousin's a real handful. Absolutely. Not one, but three handfuls. It's now after school. I quickly leave the classroom to head straight to Grandpa. Hello, slave. Oh. When Sam Chan's hanging around outside of school, he gets playing with a cat. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Wait, you have a cell phone? Oh god. Murasami-chan, please don't start whiling in mobile games. Yasuharu-san's not going to enjoy next month's credit card bill. Oh, Grandpa, this is going to be fun. Oh, so you were waiting for me. That's actually very true, too. Well, yeah. I'm still a little nervous around Grandpa, so I'll definitely be nice to have more so it'll definitely be nice to have more summer chan around the white cat in murasame chan's arms suddenly starts marrying uh murasame chan look over there 
point to the corner of a nearby bush. A larger white cat is watching Buddha Sama Chan warily. It's almost like the cat understands Buddha Sama Chan. Buddha Chan gently lowers the cat to the ground. Now afraid, it runs over to her mother. The cat's mother nuzzles her cheek. Then the two of them walk off. Muda Sama Chan smiles. She wait. <sighs> Today is not the day. Muda Sama Chan smiles as she waves to the two cats. Right into her voice, the two of them turn around and meow at her. After that, they walk into the bushes together. Muda Sama Chan watches them until they're out of sight. Her expression is gentle, but at the same time, forlorn. Yeah! Motoko Milf, son. My apologies, Masaomi, son. Nah, it's our fault for coming unannounced. We head to the inn only to find out that Grandpa is out. Apparently, the town leaders are holding a special council meeting. Oh, we'll just come back later. It's better to discuss this with him in person. Sorry for disturbing you. <sighs> nah, man, that tea. Whew. I don't know what I drink. <laughs> and Otani some bows and heads back into the inn. Her professionalism is impressive. I guess this is the reason she's the manager. Yep. Yep. Yes, so what now? Should I call everyone to hold a regular meeting? It's not like we're going to get anywhere without Grandpa and Yasuharu-san's help, though. I'm stumped. I'm stumped! Murasama-chan tugs on my sleeve. You're right. Yeah, you've got a point. I definitely feel like I've been getting weaker recently. Besides, it'll be a good way to get used to controlling your real body too, Munusama-chan. <sighs> Munusama-chan's expression goes pensive. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah, that's how being alive works. I see. Recently, Murasama Chan has seemed. Uh, recently, Murasama Chan has seemed so normal that I've forgotten something rather important. She's still not technically human. Does she plan on changing that? We would hope. What? <laughs> it's. Yes? Huh? Yeah, they are. Tripping。ご主人。トリ。やはり特殊な場所なのだ。それに不便じゃ。財政も苦しいしな。長い目で見れば、ここにご主人が留まることは良いことではないのだ。yeah, you. Okay, maybe, but... My family. Yeah. I think back to our conversation a few nights ago. Murasama-chan told me to go back to the city. It's clear that she eventually intended to part ways with me. If I do go back, what will Murasama-chan do? Oh, yeah. Murasama-chan pulls me forward, breaking me out of my reverie. Her hand is soft and warm. Never want to let go of it. Here's where we're going to pause. My timer just ran out too. Oh boy. Yeah! 
<sighs> Alright guys, I'm going to have to wrap up this episode. I was so busy in like, ranting and, you know, the trip and, you know, the intro and stuff that I forgot to say what episode it was. I forgot to say what episode this was and I forgot um, what episode we should be on too because it's been two weeks and uh, yeah. Anyways, this episode was definitely one of the tamest ones or on the list of one of the tamest episodes of Sernan Banka. For sure the tamest, I'd say, in this whole route probably. Nothing crazy. Literally nothing crazy. Not much I could say about this episode. Dantar was still a freaking big freaking moron. That 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 is very clear, and uh, and I think that's all I gotta say about this episode. I probably look even more messed up, but hey, the good news is the running is gone. It finally ceased. I'm finally not suffering and snot, thankfully. <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm probably gonna take a little nap because this tea that I drink has me drowsy and like i said on the community guidelines i'm back you know grinding again and we're gonna go in hard we're gonna play all these games oh and one more little important thing that i forgot to mention earlier i was talking about the community post and how i'm gonna play the, the spider-man the whole final fantasy as an evil blah 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 that does not mean i'm gonna forget about visual novels i just wanted to make that clear just in case visual novels are not going anywhere they're staying in this channel i enjoy them i know i know for sure you guys enjoy them as well we all enjoy them so why am i gonna get rid of them doesn't make sense you know i just really want to play those games because i've been like on the lookout of those for so long i mean not final fantasy necessarily truth is i've never gotten into the final fantasy games but i've always wanted to you know and when i saw final fantasy 16 i was like yo this works he thank you for waiting patiently thank you for coming back if you you know you watched and made it all the way through thank you i really do appreciate it thank you for being here thank you for watching we're gonna wrap it up here i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please let me know by dropping that link for me you know the, the little thumbs up hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already and you already made and you already done so and sharing this video with your homies i'll see you guys on the next one fellas